morning reptilians welcome and welcome back to the channel so last week we did a pretty big video if you haven't seen that already please go back and watch it i am so proud of that video and i am so proud of how morty's giant six foot tank came out so please go watch that if you missed it that video took a lot of work and time and editing and all that jazz so this week i thought we'd do something a little bit easier and we're just gonna talk about my personal top five favorite lizards. This video is sponsored by the Dubia Dude, so make sure to stay until the end of this video to find out how you can save 10% off of your entire order at thedubiadude.com. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So this first one on the list is going to come as a surprise to no one if you have been watching my channel for a little while. That's the Crested Gecko. Crested Geckos are fantastic. They are my absolute favorite single species of lizards. And just because I have gotten this question before, yes, geckos most certainly are lizards. Yes, they're geckos, but geckos are lizards but these guys are awesome they are number one the best beginner reptile that i always suggest for people new to the reptile world because they're so easy they don't even need a heat source as long as your house stays in the 70s they don't need any kind of special lighting because they're nocturnal they can solely survive off of a powdered gecko diet and they're good to go they are absolutely amazing if you want to get into the whole bioactive world because they are a tropical species and that makes setting up your very first bioactive tank amazing and that's probably the biggest reason I have a soft spot in my heart for crested geckos is because that did transition me very easily into the bioactive world and that is one of my favorite parts about reptile keeping is setting up bioactive enclosures and not to mention they just feel so awesome and they have awesome little personalities. Last night I was spraying down Dexter's tank and I'm just watching him with his giant eyes wiggle his butt at me and I knew he was going to jump at me so I put my hand out in preparation as I'm spraying the tank with the other hand and he did he leaped out of his tank onto my hand and directly on my face and I just love that so much it's a really good thing I wasn't a predator because he just tried to jump into my mouth like <laughs> I don't know but I love them so much and of course they get the number one spot on this top five list Next up, we have a lizard that I have mentioned occasionally, and it's because I don't have one and I want one so bad. We missed the opportunity to get one a year or so back, and I've been looking for one ever since, and I haven't been able to find one, and that is the Mexican alligator lizard or the Abronia. I don't know how to say the scientific name. It's the green one, but Abronias are so cool. Number one, just a look at that thing. That thing looks so cool awesome. These are a lizard that look like little alligators or like little green dragon babies and they are so cute. They are also another arboreal tropical species. Clearly there's a pattern here and they live in these lush beautifully decorated arboreal tanks which is so cool. The thing with these lizards is that they only give birth once a year. They actually give live birth, which I thought was really cool, but them only having babies once a year makes them very hard to find. If you know any reputable breeders that are selling captive bred Abronia, or if you are one, please let me know. But that's basically it. They're just an awesome looking arboreal lizard that I would absolutely love to add to my reptile home. But that's basically it. They're just my favorite because they're so beautiful, because they're arboreal, because they're high humidity species that I could set up an awesome bioactive tank for. And because I've tried finding one of these for so long, it just makes it one of my favorite because I'm just on this forever hunt for it. And yeah, it's gonna be super rewarding when I do find one and I will let you guys know all about it. But until then, I am definitely going to keep looking. Number three on this list is another one that's going to come as a surprise to no one, and that is the tegu. Tegus are so awesome. Other than them just being giant, dog lizards that behave like dogs. They're also super, super smart. So you can teach them their names. You can teach them to get up on the couch with you while you watch TV. These are very smart animals and again, very large animals. This is an animal that I wanted for such a long time and sadly the state of Alabama has made them illegal to own or buy or sell or whatever, but they are still and always will be one of my favorite lizards. As for the type, I just like the black and white tegus. The all white ones are super pretty but I just like this black and white tegus they're just super awesome and maybe one day in the very distant future that could be in my cards but right now that's a dead end I just love them so much 
Next up, we have the Cayman Lizard. These guys are so cool. And I know all of these on this list are so cool because it's a list of all of my favorite animals, but the Cayman Lizard is awesome. Number one, look at those colors. It is so beautiful. Number two, these guys are semi-aquatic. So they actually have to have setups that consist of giant swimming areas and climbing areas. So these guys need huge tanks, but you can do so much with these tanks. I would absolutely love to have one of these one day and just build a giant paldarium for them because it would be just the coolest. <laughs> and as you're watching these guys, instead of having a reptile that you're just watching climb all day or a reptile that you're just watching burrow or something you're just watching swim, these guys do all of those things. And they're very unique looking. They have enlarged scales that are very much like crocodiles but at the same time they're very brightly colored and they are a bit on the larger side of lizards as well. I've only ever seen these guys at a reptile show one time and I'm pretty sure they were wild caught and that's kind of not my thing but I would love to have one of those one day. Not anytime soon though. I would need a lot of space for that and I do not have a lot of extra space at this moment because I would want to build this guy a huge tank that he could actually make use of. But yeah, they're just awesome. And the last one on this list is kind of cheating, I guess, because I couldn't pick just one. The last one is skinks. I love skinks. Crested skinks are my favorite singular reptile, but skinks are my favorite overall class of reptiles. I just love them all so much. You guys know I have a blue tongue skink who just got that big upgrade and he's so much fun to watch. He burrows and climbs and he's just the absolute cutest and he has an attitude sometimes but I love it so much and I have my crocodile skink and she's super shy but she looks so cool she looks like a little dragon some of you guys may remember I used to have a fire skink which unfortunately the fire skink we found out later was heavily infested with parasites and she passed away very shortly after we got her which was super sad because she was so amazing and that is one that I do want another one of one day because I was so in love with her. But she was super cool. She was always burrowing and hunting for her food. And when she would bask, she would come up at an arch like this. And she was just so, so adorable. And of course, the prehensile tailed skink is one of my favorite lizards of all time. But they're another one that needs a giant enclosure and lots of room to climb. But uh, I love them so much. My local zoo, the Birmingham Zoo, has prehensile tailed skinks. And I love going and looking at them because they're so cool. They have always been up there on my list of the top favorites. I absolutely adore five line skinks. They are a skink that is native to around here and we see them all the time when we go hiking. And not too long ago there was a listing on Craigslist for some captive bred skinks and I tried to get one of those but the person never wrote me back so I'm assuming they had sold all of them. And Peter's banded skinks, super cool, just burrow into sand and they have that unique yellowy tan look to them. I just love love skinks. There's not much else to say. They're just so cool. They're so active. They are so much fun to watch. They all look so different, but they're all so beautiful. And I just love them so much. So this last one was very much cheating, I guess, because we kind of just got five in one. So I guess this was kind of a my 10 favorite lizards of all time. I just I couldn't I couldn't pick one of the skinks. I just love all of the skinks. <laughs> But that is it for this week's video, guys. Like I said, just wanted to do something quick and easy after last week's giant video that we did. Absolutely love how the video turned out. Absolutely love how that tank turned out. He still absolutely loves the tank and he's early in it now, so that's fantastic. But just want to do something a little on the easier side this week. As I said at the beginning of this video, this video is sponsored by the Dubia Dude. The Dubia Dude is such an awesome place to get Dubia Roaches for your reptiles. A lot of those reptiles I just listed eat Dubia Roaches. Dubia Roaches are so healthy. They are a lot healthier than crickets are, and they provide more protein than crickets and more moisture than crickets, and they don't collect parasites like crickets do. That means that your bearded dragon or whatever animal you are getting these for is a whole lot less likely to get parasites from the Dubia Roaches than they are from crickets. 
Doobie roaches are my staple feeder for reptiles like Zaz, my bearded dragon. They're fantastic. And the website is super easy to navigate. Just a few clicks and you have Doobie roaches coming directly to your house. And on top of that, they have a subscription service. So that means you can set it up to where your Doobie roaches are coming once a month or whatever. And you don't even have to think about it. Your animal's food is just being sent to your house and that's it, you're done. Make sure to use my code L at the doobiedoo.com to save 10% off of your entire order. Thank you so much to the Doobie Dude for sponsoring this video. As always, if you have not already, please feel free to follow me on my other socials and like, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications every single time I put out a new video, which is every Sunday and some Wednesdays. This week's Instagram shout out goes to Reptiliatus. <laughs> Super embarrassing because I watch his stuff and follow him on Instagram and have no idea how to pronounce his name. I am so sorry. But he's awesome. You guys should definitely check out his Instagram and his YouTube. He has a bunch of really, really awesome animals and a bunch of really cool videos. So definitely go check him out. But thank you so much for follow me on Instagram and liking a whole bunch of my stuff. And this week's subscriber shout out goes to Layla Amons. Amons? She has been commenting on my stuff for a few months now. So thank you so much for being super supportive, Layla. And thank you guys both so much. You are the bee's knees. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye. Joining us today live, we are picking the subscriber shout outs. Going to last week's video to my reptile home. I have a home for it already. Actually, that's, that's too much. Like, the little, actually, whoops, ignore that. And climbing things, and she would, when she would, and when she would bask, she would like come up like an, and this list is another one that's gonna come to a number.